New tonight, a tunnel beneath Del Mar is being discussed as the alternative to the track's current location right along the bluffs. The project is several years away from construction, but the process of public outreach is set to begin next month, and the idea is already raising concerns among residents. Fox 5's Kasha Gorchek joins us live from Del Mar. And Kasha, this is a very hot topic along the coast there. Very hot topic. People have very strong feelings about this, Susan. And right now we are standing along Camino Del Mar, which is of course, the main street here in Del Mar, and it is one of the areas being proposed for this tunnel. So speaking with residents throughout town today, a lot of them recognize moving that train away from the bluffs is definitely necessary, but they still have hesitation about this plan. These are homes that a lot of people have lived here for their entire lives, and to have it shaken up by the train as it's now going to go underneath their house is going to be pretty disruptive. Del Mar residents are uneasy about Sandag's plan to move the train tracks off the bluffs and under the city by way of a tunnel. Sandag has been doing everything in our power to help restore those bluffs. At the end of the day, that's not going to be enough, and the rails need to come off the bluff. Deputy CEO Colleen Clemenson says Sandag is considering two options as part of the Low Sand Rail Realignment Project, which were presented before City Council this week. The eastern alignment would largely be in Crest Canyon, and then the western alignment would follow along um, Camino Del Mar. Even though exact locations won't be determined for some time, local property owners are among some of the most concerned. The geotechnical considerations of going underneath homes is borderline asinine. We're not necessarily against improving the rail system, but we want to understand the reasoning and we want to understand how you're going to protect the community. Sandag has presented a timeline, including three years of environmental surveys, studies and engineering work with a goal of selecting a preferred design by 2026. The intention is to have public outreach and feedback throughout this time. 2028 would be when construction would start and most likely open for use in 2035. So this is quite a process. It's a, 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 an enormous undertaking and we really appreciate the community input and want the community to really be our partners in this. So Sandag has a series of public outreach and informational events that they say are set to begin next month, which is just a few days away. However, there aren't any set dates for those events just yet. As we mentioned in the story, they do say that they plan to have outreach continue through the years all the way through 2035, which is the target year for the train to no longer operate on the bluffs. Reporting live in Del Mar tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.